everybody. Welcome. I'm so glad to see you back again for another story with Mrs. Claus. The story today takes place on the last day of Hanukkah. It's called Kayla and Poodle's Happy Hanukkah by Anne B. Klopsky. I'm Kayla, and this is my dog, Kugel. We are getting ready for Hanukkah. I'm looking for the menorahs. Kugel is helping me. Kugel, that's not what we're looking for. Kugel, that's not the Hanukkah box. That's the Purim box. Okay, you can pretend to be a king. There's a king in the Hanukkah story, too. Woof, woof. Aha, I found the menorahs. Let's go downstairs and set them up. Did you know that long, long ago, a king said that the Jewish people couldn't celebrate their holidays anymore? No more Passover? No more Sabbath? He decreed. Kugel, let's clear this windowsill so we can put the menorahs here. They couldn't go to their temple. They couldn't light the temple menorah. Its flames used to shine brightly, but now it stood cold and dark. Kugel, we're using Hanukkah candles tonight not Sabbath one. Put that away, please. Do you want to hear the rest of the story, Kugel? Okay. The Jewish people fought back and won. The king's soldiers ran away. And the Jewish people went to the temple to light the menorah. But the king's soldiers had wrecked the temple, and the oil for the menorah was missing. The Jewish people had to make everything right again. Kugel, just because the soldiers made a mess doesn't mean you have to. And there's Kugel, look at him. He is flipping candles all over the place. Finally, they found enough oil to light the menorah for one day. But the oil lasted for eight days and nights. It was a miracle. That's why we light our Hanukkah menorahs for eight nights. Come, Kugel, watch us light them. Kugel, why are you running around and around? Oh, I get it. You're spinning like a dreidel. Let's all play dreidel. Happy Hanukkah. And that's the end of our story. Thank you for coming, and I hope to see you again.